How important is early detection when it comes to prostate cancer? <laughs> and, and, you know, you talked about the yeah. poodles and the pit bulls. If, if we detect a poodle, mm. is that necessarily a good thing? The poodle being a, a, a less serious form of prostate cancer. You know, I'd probably make a two-hour movie about that <laughs> point. That is, what you just asked is the seminal question of the prostate cancer debate. And I don't want to, I'm not trying to skirt this, but you need to understand how loaded that question is. The Urology Association, the American Urological Association, every year they have a conference. You know, they talk about antibiotics and, you know, you know urinary tract infections, mm -hmm. you know, female ur urinary sling procedures, yawn. And then finally the speech comes up about prostate cancer, biopsy, or PSAs. And then the place turns into old world parliament. And the whole these doctors go nuts and throw punches. It got so bad that eventually one group decided to have a spin-off conference, which I'm going to be attending next week, um, to deal with just this concept of active surveillance to biopsy to not biopsy. That is how loaded this issue is. You know, we often say it's like vaccinations. You know, there's a lot of allergies, there's different things out there, but vaccinations, without getting into the topic, is, is loaded beyond simply sure. one issue. It brings in civil rights, uh, you know, I'm sorry, constitutional rights mm -hmm. and herd immunity and larger issues. And that's what pro this prostate cancer, what you just asked, is dealing with. Because when you're diagnosed with cancer, the system has been set up to think that cancer equals death. That's, that's mm -hmm. what we all think of. The system now is starting to recognize that most people, have, we have cancer in us all the time. And if that's true, it means most of the time doesn't kill us. So now what do you do if you're a doctor and you find a cancer, but you think it's a poodle? What do you tell the patient? Oh, I, yeah, I guess what, I found cancer in you, but it's a poodle, whatever that means, and go home, have a nice day. I mean... I mean, patients, their head is spinning. Sure. They don't take that down lightly. Mm -hmm. And let's say if you're wrong, if you, you see 100 patients, and you're right 99% of the time, but you know, one patient, I mean, it's called a practice, and the doctor misses the poodle for a pit bull, all you need is one, and they'll sue the doctor and say, technically that was cancer, shouldn't you have removed the cancer? All right. So guess what doctors do? They treat every case as if it's a pit bull because they don't want to be sued. This obviously brings a whole litigation issue and tort reform mm -hmm. and debates that we're having today. But that is why this prostate issue of a question of, of the, how do you know which one and, and, and how, does, how does treatment change, it, it's, it's, it's at the crux of it that we don't know what to do for the medical system, that is, what to do with a poodle. We don't know what to do with it because of all the litigation issues and the education that a man has to have to know the difference. And lastly, if I tell you, yes, I think you have cancer, but it's not gonna kill you, or I don't think it will, how will you react? You know, for a patient to, to know, quote unquote, they have cancer, mm -hmm. even though we know we all have it in us anyway, but for someone to be, di to be diagnosed with it, how are they gonna react? How will they react with their wife? You know, we are dealing with mind and body and spirit. And so many times a man might have a diagnosis, even if it's not a serious diagnosis, but their mind and spirit may not be able to handle that. And mm -hmm. that is a different area of healing.